Nepal has Mount Everest, the United States, the Grand Canyon. Sarawak has Gunung Mulu National Park. Half an hour by plane from the coastal town of Miri, or a full day by longboat. Uh, tourists, they uh, can uh, follow the agencies, you know, to get to make it very easier using this travel agent. Everything will be provided with travel agent. For the independent tourists, they have their own uh, preparation to get to here. Flying in, you can see the park's main geologic feature, the limestone pinnacles jutting 50 meters into the sky. It's a three-day hike in. Leaving civilization far behind, my guide took me to the first of many famous caves, this one containing ancient human remains. Here too, the Ipo tree, source of the poison used by hunters for both wildlife and war. To see the deer in Lang Caves, you're going to have to hike in about three kilometers. This keeps the tour buses away, leaving the jungle all that more pristine. Now, fortunately, they built these elevated wooden walkways, which is a great idea because in a couple of months, this forest floor will be pure swampland. It's a supernatural world. All proportion is lost in one of the wildest habitats in Asia. Giant trees and leaves, super fertilized by bat guano, could dwarf any plant you'd find in Jurassic Park. Leaving the heat of the jungle, I entered the dark cool of the ornate Lang Cave. These diamond-like limestone stalactites and stalagmites taking centuries to grow. Deer Cave is the largest underground passage in the world. Going in the front entrance, I was not alone, for there was an uncanny profile of my compatriot U.S. President Abraham Lincoln and my trusty guide, not to mention a few other visitors. Uh, they estimated around 600,000, that is half a million beds, living inside this cave. What are they doing right now? Uh, right now they are sleeping. Some of them are flying. And then what will happen later on? Will they wake up? Or? Uh, they will definitely they will wake up and fly out in the evening. Uh-oh, I got out of their way and not a moment too soon. With six kilometers of trail behind me, it was time for the crystal depths of Clear Water Cave. It seemed to beckon the weary hiker for a refreshing swim. Cool, clean, and so refreshing. Time now for a break. When we return, we'll take a look at Kuching and then see what's cooking with Mrs. Balbeer. <laughs> 